Okay, today we're going to uh, show you how to plan and execute a waypoint mission in uh, Mission Planner here using the APM autopilot unit. Uh, this video assumes that your multicopter can perform altitude hold and loiter correctly. If it can't do either of those things, then uh, you need to get your PIDs and your setup down before you can run autonomous missions. You should also do a compass MOT calibration if not if you haven't done it already uh, and you want to be less than 30 on the noise. Some people get away with noise between 30 and 60 that's the gray area um, but if, if you're above 30 you want to do what you can do to isolate uh, electrically noisy things from your compass. Yeah if you need um, some more information on PIDs or the compass MOT calibration uh, we we, we are going to do another video um, covering those topics here shortly, so stay tuned. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, either plug in your uh, 3D art telemetry radio or the USB to your APM. Um, if you're using the USB, you don't have to power it up. You can just power it right off the USB. Um, I'm connected wirelessly with the telemetry radio, so we're going to power up the APM using the flight pack. You want to make sure your props are off or your ESCs are disconnected so you don't get a uh, flyaway situation in your living room. Um, so we're going to power up the APM which is already done. Um, I've got my telemetry radio and then uh, I'm going to open Mission Planner here and I'm just going to select the COM port that the um, telemetry radio is on and you can see now it's pulling down all the data and parameters off the APM right now. Okay, we'll just let it load for a second here. So if you've already set up your APM, you should be somewhat familiar with the Mission Planner software. Um, so we're going to come over here to the Flight Plan tab. Um, and now we're looking at a map, a map um, sort of of the area where um, where the multicopter is located right now. It's using the GPS on board. Um, so we're just going to plan a little mission here. Um, a couple of things to familiarize yourself with. On the right side is the action panel here. Uh, you can read and write your waypoints um, off the APM using that. You can also select your map set. There's many different map sets to use. I prefer to use the Google hybrid map which has roads and it has um, the uh, satellite view on it um, and there's also this handy grid function so if you want to do some surveying or something you can set that grid up on there and use it to set up your waypoints um, other thing on the action panel are the current mouse location and the current location and altitude of the home I'm going to come down on the bottom here and click these little arrows and we're going to expand this waypoints panel here. Um, this is where you're going to be doing a lot of your work to set this up. Um, there's a few basic parameters you want to set up in here before you start your mission. Um, the first one is a waypoint radius. Um, this is how close you need to come to a waypoint uh, in order to satisfy the criteria for hitting that waypoint. Um, this is, uh, I should back up, I forgot one thing actually. Units of measurement, this is important here. Uh, in the initial setup, no, it's under config. Under config and tuning, planner, you want to come down here and figure out what units you're going to use. I like working in feet and knots for speed, but you may like prefer something different. Um, make sure you're using the units that you think you're using because it's pretty easy to think 100 feet or 100 meters and get confused and be too high or too low. Um, so once you set that up, you want to come back over here to flight plan tab. What was it? Okay, so yes, yeah, so the waypoint radius. Um, we're going to set that to 25 feet. Um, loiter radius is the same thing. That's uh, how close you need to come to your loiter waypoint to satisfy it. Um, and then the default altitude is the altitude that mission planner will plug in. Uh, as the default altitude for your flight plan uh, in all your waypoints that you're creating. So if you want your whole flight to be at 100 feet, then you can leave that at 100. You may want to change some of your um, 
change some of your altitudes depending on what you're trying to do. Uh, the other thing we have here is verify height and that will use the topographic data from Google to uh, either raise or lower your waypoints so they stay equidistant to the ground. Um, that's really nice to have if you're flying in an area with steep hills or a lot of terrain. Um, that'll help keep you from flying into the side of a mountain. Uh, and then the last thing in the waypoints um, panel is the add below, um, which we'll cover that in a minute, but basically you click that, it'll add a waypoint or some other item below the one that you're currently using. So we've got our home location set up here. Let me zoom in here. Um, and so this is where our home is. And so if we want to make a, our first waypoint, we just click where we want it. So we want to fly here. We click a waypoint there. We click there and it adds a waypoint. And you can see down here in the um, waypoint panel, it's added it. So waypoint number one, um, there's a delay, there's a hit radius, there's a couple of other things you can set if you want to. Normally you can just leave those things zero. Um, it'll have your your coordinates here for latitude and longitude and also the altitude and that's that comes from this default altitude so if you have 200 in there it'll put 200 in all your um, all your waypoints and you can change each one individually um, here we can delete the waypoint we can move it up and down in the order this is the grade that it's going to be flying so since we're going from 0 to 100 feet um, that is uh, you know the slope that it's going to be flying and then this is the distance the 619 foot leg um, so what we're going to do is just going to add a couple of more waypoints here go fly over the lake and then we'll come back home so um, with this mission right here the way you would fly it is you would take off fly to the home spot and then switch to auto mode and it would fly the mission